We live in a deeply conservative moment where the Brexit momentum has revealed that for many people, migration is a crisis. It is something to be resolved at the border. And this flies in the face of our street research. My seemingly impossible idea, absolutely invigorated by the vitality of these streets, is that migrants are city makers and not city takers. Today we're on Rye Lane in Peckham. From the bottom end to the top end of the street is a 10 minute walk. And on that walk you would encounter over 20 different nationalities. This street is anything but a little Italy or a Chinatown. It's composed of many people from many places and it's also composed by people who have had to reconfigure and invent themselves. One in four shops on Rye Lane practice what we call urban mutualism. This is where someone takes the head lease for a shop and subdivides it into multiple shops. You literally have a proprietor from Uzbekistan sharing space with a proprietor from Ghana, with a proprietor from Pakistan. This makes for really interesting economies and compatibilities. It also allows people to enter into a very high property value market and to participate in what we call a hot desk urbanism, where people require slithers of space and slithers of time in order to actively participate in the making and shaping of the city. We moved to Khan's Bargain Stores, which is the biggest shop on the street. From a proprietor who essentially started by renting the space the size of a table, he then took the front of a shop and he then rented the entire space. And this is a convenience store in the most expansive sense of the word. It sells aluminium pots, it sells hats, you can buy a can of beans. And really interestingly, above the shop is a mask that caters to the East African community. And so within the space is an incredible collaboration between a proprietor, a landowner and a religious community. Yeah.